and let me introduce you to the Easy Reach Zone. It's not rocket science, but we do find it's quite a good tool to help people think about how they set out their desk before they start a task. Essentially, it's the area right in front of you. With your forearm close to your body, you should only be able to reach the things you're using all the time without having to extend your reach further. What you need should be directly in front of you. If you're not using that item at the moment, then move it out of the way. Let me demonstrate. The things I'm doing at the moment, I'm typing, I'm using my mouse, so the mouse needs to come closer. I'm working from documents and my monitor. Therefore, what I'm using at the moment is in my easy reach zone. If I want to do some writing, then I need to move the keyboard out of the way, bring the document holder forward, and now I can do the writing or reading. By using a product such as this, I can also free up the desk space directly in front of me, so I don't have to awkwardly twist to use other parts of the desk. This is the primary space right here. As you can see, the primary piece of equipment taking up space is this rather bulky old-fashioned keyboard. It's pretty much standard issue. We centre ourselves to the QWERTY keyboard and then you have the number pad to the side and a mouse beyond. That means my arm is automatically going away from the body and therefore putting stress potentially into the upper body, neck and shoulder area. Unless you're in counts and you need that number pad, we would recommend replacing it with what we call a short board. The number pad has been removed, allowing for the mouse to come much closer to the side. And now you can see that I'm set up very comfortably with my arm close to the body. There is no stress whatsoever. So that's the easy reach zone explained.